How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Garden Warfare 2 ranking video. Today we are finally starting to rank the plant classes beginning with Pea Shooter. I asked you guys to tell me what plant you want me to rank first and most of you said Pea Shooter. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long before we get into it. If you do like this series make sure to go check out all my other ranking videos I have based on the zombies class and make sure to look forward to the new ones based on the plants class. Now let's go. Beginning with the worst Pea Shooter perhaps even the worst character in Garden Warfare 2, Electro P. In my 8 years of playing PvZ shooters, I don't think I've seen a worse character than this guy. I mean, he does absolutely horrible damage, has a complete trash mechanic, and can't even win one fight for himself. Not to mention, you literally could not aim with him at all. You would definitely need heavy aim assist for this one. I mean, seriously, yeah, you could have made him at least a little good. This guy needs a major buff. I mean, come on, man. Next up, we have Rock P. Personally, I do like Rock P, but I think a lot of people like myself have noticed that he is literally just a horrible Reg P shooter. I'm seriously so confused about what the mindset was behind this character when they were creating it. His gimmick is supposed to be that he shoots two shots at once, but it's completely useless seeing as how even if you hit both of those shots, it still does less damage than Reg P. Another thing about Rock P is that he takes a style of more health, less speed, which comes down to what you prefer in the end. I also want to mention this weird thing that he has when it comes to aiming. I saw this in PvZ Luke's video and wanted to showcase it here, so thank you for that. As Rock P, where you're moving actually alters where your projectile goes. If you look closely, you can see that as I move to the left, my shots curve to the left, likewise with the right. This explains why sometimes it feels so difficult to hit shots with him. Pretty interesting. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit difficult, because while I don't think Ice P is bad, I just think he is simply outclassed. For an Ice variant, Ice P does maintain decent damage and ammo capacity, considering those usually get nerfed pretty hard when you switch to an elemental variant. Another thing I noticed is how fast you can actually freeze an enemy with this primary weapon. With just 4 direct hits, I was able to fully freeze an AI. That's kind of crazy, considering he has 12 shots in one reload. Now, I'm not sure if splash damage freezes the enemy in the same amount of time. You'd have to ask Dark Ring about that one, but I don't think it does. What do you think, though? It was a pretty close battle when it came to putting Toxic P here or Ice P, but this is just my choice. As you could have guessed, Toxic P is next on the list. What once was a menace in Garden Warfare 1 is now just good in Garden Warfare 2. Toxic P does similar damage to Ice P, plus the extra damage from the toxic effect he has. Toxic P is mainly meant for dealing with huge amounts of zombies all at once. This is because his toxic damage spreads from one enemy to another, and for them to combine splash damage with this, just screams they can absolutely melt multiple zombies at a time. For the people that haven't played Garden for One or didn't like it too much, Toxic P were once every player's worst nightmare along with Super Commando. People would just sit on top of high places with this character and just rain projectiles from above. Even in Garden for Two sometimes, it can be really annoying. Cause while he doesn't do much damage at first, that toxic effect adds up to slowly kill you over time. Plus my friend Cohen really likes him, so He's going to get someone of a high spot. Toxic P shooter is the best in the game. On to my next pick, which is Fire P. Fire P is basically just a better Toxic P, except he is more of a one-on-one -on -one P shooter. It's pretty self-explanatory what he does. By sacrificing some direct hit damage, Fire P is able to deal afterburn damage. If you have watched some of my first ranking videos, you know I love to emphasize why I think having an afterburn combined with splash damage is such a deadly combo. As it is. Just hitting someone once behind a wall is enough for the initial splash damage and afterburn to do near the same amount as a manual detonation character. That's kinda crazy. Next up, we have the Giga Chad P Shooter. I used to think Commando P was easily the worst P Shooter, but that was before Rock P. I actually used him a few times. It almost feels like a reg foot soldier, but in P Shooter form, and obviously not exactly as good. However, Commando P can destroy any zombie it comes in contact with, as long as it's only one. If there's more than one, then... You're probably dead. I would say that on the time I did spend playing him, it felt kind of difficult aiming with him. Kind of a similar situation with Rock P, but I'm not sure. 
taking fourth place is Plasma P. Probably a lot of your guys' favorite one. While his charge shots are good, I find that in the amount of time it takes you to charge the shot and actually hit the person, you could have probably almost killed them as a reg P shooter. Sure, this does lead to most zombies low on health, which brings me to my next point. His firing speed is absolutely amazing. There's definitely times you can just walk around and just spam Plaza Peace primary weapon and get away with it. Without charging it at all, it still does give you a worthy 20 damage on a direct hit. This is also great for finishing off the opponent you just just did 70 damage to. Some of you are probably thinking I'm forgetting the plasma explosion after a fully charged shot, and while I consider that it does help sometimes, it isn't very viable unless you're versing an M. If I had to describe plasma future in one sentence, it would be cosmic brains, but he's a ranged class. Heading into the top three now, it's Reg P. Much like the other reg variants in this series, everything about them is either average or above. Their firing speed, their ammo capacity, damage, etc. Just to let you all know, I have been comparing all the P-shooters to reg P because reg P is like the control variable in your science experiment. Each variant takes his stats but modifies them in their own way. But yeah, reg P, great damage, great ammo in every reload, and just... Definitely deserves top three. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting to see who I put in first and second place. After a lot of tough thinking, I finally made my decision. Although I prefer him more, Agent P is going to take second place here. Agent P is an incredible character in Garden Warfare 2 and very satisfying to play. Doing double the amount of damage on headshots, Agent P Shooter is an actual assassin. His magazine size really helps him with this as well because he can get a lot of damage in at once without having to reload. His weapon is also outstandingly accurate, enabling you to really hit those headshots. With this good of a character, you'd think EA would actually give him some sort of really bad con, but but no, he only has 25 less health than the normal pea shooter. Health loss isn't too big of a deal. You just gotta watch out because certain abilities and characters you could be more vulnerable to. But if you really learn Agent P, you can easily dominate and destroy those characters and abilities. You can shoot the ability out of the sky, you know. In first place for the best P shooter in Garden Warfare 2, Law P. Law P is similar to Agent P when it comes to damage. In fact, his weapon is similar to Agent P in almost every way, except the Law P has the ability to fan fire it like a revolver. Hence why his name is Law P, and why he's just like a sheriff from the wild west this kind of unique power can take an enemy off your screen faster than you can say banana and of course i'm putting him here based off if you're not cringe and using a modded controller on probably the silliest shooter video game where plants battle zombies some of you guys take this game way too seriously now let's move on to the part where i rank them based off how fun they are at number 10 starting with the least fun electro p not even a joke. I just don't have fun with mental detonation really at all. Then we got Ice P, then Fire P, next is Rock P, then Toxic P, then we have Reg P, next is Commando P, P, then Law P, second is Plasma, and first is Agent P. Very fun to just hit headshots. Sniper Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We made it to the end. It helps me out a lot, so I really do appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know who your favorite p is in the comments and what you think about my list, and I'll see you all next time.